Hippos Are Huge by Jonathan London. Illustrated by Matthew Truman. You might remember Jonathan London. He wrote the books such as all the Froggy series. Froggy. Hippos are huge, except for elephants. No other land animals are as large as hippopotamuses. They can weigh as much as 50 men. So they can weigh thousands and thousands of pounds. A hippo has the biggest mouth of any animal except for a whale. Watch out! Hippo's yawn is a threat. It means stay away. Which do you think is the most dangerous animal in Africa? A lion? A crocodile? Nope. In fact, whales, along with dolphins and porpoises, are hippo's closest living relatives. Would you believe that the hippo is the most dangerous animal in Africa? With its monstrous jaws and razor-sharp tusks, hippos can bite a giant crocodile in half or chomp a small boat in two. And they are fast. They can run faster than a human, and they can travel faster in water, too. Though it's hard to prove, many sources claim that hippos kill more people in Africa than any other animal. Hippos don't really swim. Look! First hippo dives, with her ears pressed against her head and her nostrils closed. <clears throat> Next, she bounces gracefully off the bottom, kicking off with her hind legs, and glides, then dances on her tiptoes, and kicks off again. A hippo can run 25 miles. Hippo bursts through the surface, sprouting fountains of water from her nostrils. When a hippo isn't dancing along in the water or chasing crocodiles, she spends most of her day with just her eyes, ears, and nose sticking out of the water, resting and watching. A cattle egret picks the dinner of insects from hippo's ear. A fish nips tidbits of food stuck between hippo's teeth. Yum! You might think hippos would snap at the birds or fish that come near them, but they don't because they're actually helping each other. Hippos must stay in water as much as possible to keep their skin from drying out. Just then, a great commotion erupts, and hippo watches as two bulls square off. The two bulls turn to stand rump to rump. Then they swing their tails like baseball bats and swap balls of dung at each other. Dung is another word for poop. Splat! Slop! It's a smelly message to keep out. A male hippo is called a bull. When this doesn't work, the defending bull yawns to show off his powerful tusks, then pounces with a great roar and attacks with a giant bunch of teeth. Hippo watches as they snort and honk until finally the defeated bull limps away. Yes, battles can be bloody, can rage on for hours. In the nearby nursery, Hippo watches baby hippos playing. Two calves play fight in a hippo tug of war with their jaws locked together. Soon it will be Hippo's turn to mate and in a few months, she'll have a baby of her own. <clears throat> Playing is good practice for when bulls grow up. Months pass. The rains come and fill the lakes and rivers. And now it's time. Hippo stands neck deep in water, and a baby is born. Baby Hippo paddles to the surface, and his head pops up for his first breath. Then he dives back down and nudges. Hippo's teeth for her milk. A newborn calf weighs 150 pounds. A few weeks later, Hippo and her calf join the nursery and wallow in the mud. They snuggle together and gently lick and nuzzle each other. All hippos love to wallow in the mud, which keeps them cool. And though hippos are ferocious, they can be gentle too to their babies. <clears throat> Though baby hippo looks tiny next to his mother, 
When he's six months old, he will weigh 500 pounds. Hippos are huge. That's the title of the book. Hippos are huge.